Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have a fairly copious dish of leftover colors that are beautiful. And I'm going to add more colors to them because I can and use my shovel. That was a peacock from Decor de Americana. That was an Anita's, an Anita's white metallic. That is a Prussian, excuse me, that is a Venetian blue from Modern Masters. This is, that was Golden Hour from Arteza. This is Neon Purple from Folk Art with Golden Iridescent Pearl Fine added to it. This is a Grumbacher Prussian Blue with the tip plug, but it was open a minute ago and I want it to come out now. All right, I got some. Sometimes I like the dribbles as opposed to the, the lines because it makes a completely different texture in the artwork. I'm going to leave that over to my side in case I need it. I want some more orange. I have some red orange I'm almost out of. I wish I knew what it was because I'd probably ask for some more. It looks like it might have been Arteza. I used to mark them with a green with a green line. I'm going to put some of my Meaden Black in there. And also some of my mead and white. I'm tempted by some copper. Maybe I'll settle for this Decor de Americana 24 karat gold with orange in it. I want a bunch more blue. And my blue has Arteza's, excuse me, my blue is Anita's <laughs> white metallic with a little bit of the Venetian blue in there. I almost lost all my purple. That's an artist loft amethyst metallic. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more of the. That is what the uh, the folk art neon purple looks like before you add iridescent pearl fine to it. I want some dioxazine purple, and I've got it. Good thing, because I think I lost most of that blue. And I want some more of that turquoise back again. And hopefully I haven't gone too far. Usually I can get away with it. I move a few bottles out of my way or at least push them back. I haven't put any more gold in there. And I definitely want this Prussian blue bottle open. Which is a little exasperating since I just did this. But evidently not thoroughly enough. If you don't clean the threads out after a while, and you unscrew the top and put it back on. Then they get loose and they get into the tip. And I am going to gently, am I? I'm going to gently dribble some white metallic all over that and hope for the best. It's been a little while since I've done one of, since I did one of these. I have a pre-primed 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm kind of inclined to start at the, uh, the middle, but I see that I've got some less than completely covered area here. So I think I'm just going to start right there. I never start with a dribble, and I really want to once. If you tip your shovel straight up and down, you got a chance to get one more little dose out of there. I think I'm going to like this red over here. I might also wind up tipping this.
my inclination. Those are some interesting color combinations. We've got some really pretty stuff happening here. I think I'm going to just use this. It makes it hard to want to tip when you see what you get. Because you know if I tip, that means the stuff that's already there isn't going to stay. But I suppose I could just encourage it a little bit. And I can always steal some paint dot. Beautiful colors, hiding, hiding all kinds of more beautiful colors. I love that red in there. Where is that red? I'm going to put some more in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it on standby in case I feel the need. I think I have enough paint for another painting. At some point, sometimes I'm only this far along and I feel like maybe it would be a good idea to stop because things are pretty cool. And then I just get caught up in the excitement and I just go for it. I like dotting with the multicolors that drip out of the shovel. And if I get them too close together, they'll run together, but that's not my intention right now. There's an awful lot of paint in here. And it's very metallic. And I want to put a little bit of that red. Right there. Turn my pan around and pick and choose. where I want to pick my colors from. Just complete that line. This looks like it's hanging to me, but I'm not sure what to do about that yet. I'm going to fill in that spot. I like that filled in better. So far so good, except for that lump of whatever it is that I see there that needs to come out. And I am having a good time with these colors. I really want to leave that over the edge, but I also like the colors in there. So maybe I'll just cheat.
now it's more like the flower. It actually looks like a flower, which means that, that it would be, this would be my way down and up. So that's the way it is. And I should probably just quit while I'm ahead and use the colors I've got in my dish to do another painting because I think it would be a bad idea to ruin something so very cool. I could probably decide tomorrow if I want to add anything more like white dots or gold dots or orange dots or some kind of dots, but right now I'm thinking if I pick up my pan of colors and don't make too much mess, I can grab some Finishing touches, maybe? That's only got four. I kind of want it to have five. I don't think there's much of anything I can do about that. I do have some paint I could probably try. Give myself a fifth. I haven't put any spirals in anything. <laughs> I just want to make this a lot more organic right down here. I don't usually take big dollops, but I love to see the patterns coming out. I've got some incredible cells down here. I think it's time to do another painting while I still have paint and show you guys that that one's just going to be simple or as simple as you can call that. So I have over 92,000 subscribers or very nearly. I do see that I have a place that I want to put something. Maybe that's my one spiral. There we go. Do I have anything else I'm absolutely needing in need of adding anything else to it? It's my last chance to dance before I do it while you're gone. Yep, I don't mind that. Sometimes over the top is just the perfect amount. I like making dimension by letting things overlap each other. It usually looks pretty cool. So those are fantastic colors. They're not my usual. I don't know why that is, but that's okay. I'll take it when I can get it. So I love you guys. I think I said that. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do and you want to support the studio. There are many ways to do that. Watching longer, watching when the notifications come out, watching the full length video, watching some of the commercials, uh, sharing. Sharing is helpful. All those things are really appreciated, and I love you guys for doing that for me. I'm still over here doing my own... Doing my own thing. Because I Can, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. It's under the link tree. There 
alien alien platforms. Or it's some kind of undersea thing happening here. Which is okay. This happens a lot. If you're new here, if you're new here and you're newly subscribed, please be welcome, but don't be shocked. It doesn't matter how many times I say I'm done, it just doesn't happen until I'm ready. Even if I think I'm ready, it doesn't necessarily happen. There we go. So, I've got one minute left to tell you guys. Uh, check my link tree. It's underneath the video. And it has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my website, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation Group for Students. That's pretty cool. I like that. Where are my cells? My cells are right in there. Those are pretty cool. Let's see if I can lean my whole setup back. Good shapes. Good colors. Thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate your wonderful comments. You keep my morale boosted. Thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting. And if you should be somebody who has the capacity to want to join my monthly drawing, you can see the prizes in the monthly drawing in the exhibition video that's on the end screen of every video shared with you in the last 20 seconds. And what else? My Amazon link is a good place to shop, and it's at no added cost to you, and you can find my two books because I can, and unlimited possibilities there. And the Amazon link is on the link tree also. My, um, thank you for the wonderful comments again. And what am I trying to tell you? Teespring Clothing is below the video and has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And if you appreciate my artwork but you can't find something that you'd like to have reproduced or you're interested in purchasing an original artwork, if you mention the, the hashtag and the file number in the, in the title and let me know. I'll try and add it either to Teespring Clothing for all of our print leggings or t-shirts or to findartamericanpixels.com. And uh, my email address is below the link tree. I think I mentioned that already. And uh, that's the best place to contact me if you're interested in purchasing an artwork because I do sell my artwork. I think I said that too. Wow, these are just all running together. My paint pouring recipe is down below. Show more. When you open show more, you'll find it. And what else? I have 1,800 videos. <laughs> And they're organized onto 18 lists of 100, and I'm populating a, 19th, a 19th list, and I also have everything is available by topic and genre. If you need a link, just ask me. I'm happy to help you. I'm still seeing stuff that I want to play with. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Pardon my temporary insanity. It's pretty much permanent, actually. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.